Hey everyone, this is Jesse from Chains of Logic. Today we'll be doing a dubstep tutorial for the wobble bass that everybody loves. We're going to be using Native Instruments Razor, so I'm going to load uh, Reactor, which is the environment that Razor runs in. We will load the Razor Ensemble into Reactor. We're in Cubase which is where I do all of the productions I do inside Cubase. All right, we got Razor loaded and it's on the default patch, Big Cinema. We're gonna load an initialization patch, which is just a generic patch. All right, so we'll turn the glide off, unless you want it gliding. We'll move it to single trigger and now we're going to uh, start setting the oscillator, the filter, the uh, reverb and things to get the sound we want. First thing we'll do is we'll turn the LFO into beat mode where it will match the tempo in Cubase. And we'll put it at a ratio of 2 for now. This is LFO 1. So we'll take the filter of LFO 1 and we will point the filter I'm sorry, the, we'll take the filter and point it at LFO, LFO 1. So when we play it, you can hear we're already starting to wobble. Alright, so now we'll bring in the other oscillator and we will use uh, octaves to saw to bring in some higher pitch stuff. Turn it on. Now I'm going to take LFO2, put it in a sine wave in beat mode, and make it go really slow. And I'm going to modulate the uh, waveforms just a little with LFO2 in sort of opposite directions in order to give the sound some motion. As you can see the waveform is moving a little now because of the oscillations. We'll add a little randomness to the sound. We'll turn on safe bass, which is like a, a bass tone underneath everything else that's going on. So we're already getting a decent sound. We'll turn the reverb on. So we see we got way too much reverb. We'll bring that down and drop the decay on it. Some of the high dampening we'll turn on. All right, so now we got a pretty decent wobble sound. We're going to, uh, I got a, I've got a MIDI here for a bass line that I've recorded before the video. We'll see how it sounds with it. Pretty decent. Let's dirty it up a little more by adding a bit crusher in. This is the audio track for Razor. One thing I wish Razor had built into it was a good bit crusher. You can adjust the sample divide and that'll give you a different sound. You can get some interesting vowel sounds. Now we'll drop the highs a little bit so it's not competing so much with the hi-hat. There you go, a simple sound. Simple dubstep wobble. You can mess with the LFO rate. And that can be automated through the, uh, the host sequencer in order to get the sound you're looking for. If you're getting too much highs, you can use the spectral clip to bring that down some. Tailor it to your taste. This is Jesse from Change the Logic. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy.